The session engaged farmers, staff, and chainsaw operators who were brought up to speed on important management, operation, and safety practices as it relates to the use of the tool. An in-house presentation was also held to test how well participants can put the information gathered into practice. The training then moved into the field with a practical session at government's estate at Granbra on Tuesday. All the information gathered here at this workshop will help me to, to gain more knowledge as it relates to chainsaw, since that's one of the operations we conduct at the office. Basically, I will use that to edify the workers that normally apply this trade on a daily basis to help me to help them to maintain the chainsaw and to assure durability. Something that I see what I learned something very good of in this short exercise. I'll be able to take it in practical and and share it out to those who just started and those who know and they don't have much ideas I will pass it on to them. Those were participants of Veron Williams and Jamar Alexis explaining how they would benefit from the training. Senior Agricultural Officer within the Extension Department, Lawrence St. Louis, says the ministry will enhance the skills and abilities of farmers and field officers. Um, the ministry thought that this kind of training um, was essential and it was our responsibility to organize and facilitate this, these sorts of trainings as the um, service providers to our farmers also need training it's not just the farmers and extension officers that need to be trained but also our um, service providers so we have this today we have the chainsaw um, operators and we're going to do something with pruning we're going to do another training with um, tilling so then we're going to have a cadre of people that we could call on and that farmers can depend on who are reliable and who know how to do the the operations and also a little bit of maintenance of the of the equipment this initiative by the ministry of agriculture lands and forestry was supported by the united nations development program the undp and is an important capacity building initiative that encourages better operational and safety practices that can support skilled employment and sustain livelihoods. Training was facilitated by Aidan Photo, Sustainable Landscape Specialist for the Climate Resilient Agriculture for Integrated Landscape Management Project, implemented by the UNDP office in Grenada. Christina John, GBN News.